Oh. Hi. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hello. Careful. What are we doing? Welcome back. Firewood. <laughs> We've been away for a while. We've been busy. Doing? Firewood. <laughs> firewood, splitting firewood, drying firewood, and then everything else. Moving that, firewood, dumping firewood. And everything else that uh, comes up in daily life. So what are we doing this morning? Firewood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go out and get set up. Um, All right, so you take the quad out and yeah. we'll shut the door behind you. Perfect. You mean the quad with no brakes? Yeah. Okay. That one. We only have the one, so. Okay. Just no, check. There's no need to specify. Okay. <laughs> really doesn't have brakes. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a 2006 Kodiak 400 and uh, I don't think it's had brakes for quite a while. Pretty sure it's just the metal on the back of the pad that's grinding against the, the discs. Uh, a little update on the kiln. We've done some, some changes. You'll see two buckets and two drains now. Um, <clears throat> from the, anyone remembers from the last uh, couple of videos we did on the, the kiln drying, uh, the compressor on the now kiln went toast. So uh, bought a small commercial unit and it's performed really well. So we've gone and bought a second one, a little bit larger unit. And uh, so now we've got them both hooked up running. So this uh, has been in for 48 hours and I come out every 12 hours and I empty these two buckets. See that one dripping there. This one's a little different where it kind of holds the water and then it, it kind of flushes it out like so. It kind of does that every 20 or 30 seconds. So I emptied this about an hour ago. There's probably about three inches, two inches in there. So that uh, every 12 hours, let's see, where are we at with the kiln? So this is where we're at for the numbers. The average is 31. Um, we're running low temps, just about 95 degrees Fahrenheit inside the kiln. And every 12 hours, that bucket is about maybe that far from the top, a five gallon bucket. And that one's usually about that far from the top. So I'm gonna hazard a guess and say about eight gallons. Every 12 hours, it pulls out of the kiln. So, we're just, this one we got full still, and uh, this one's got three cords in it. Yeah, so, good shape. It gets a little bit of condensation in there built up each morning, but then the fan takes it out, so that's all working well. There's five and a half cords in this 40 foot shipping container. All right, so. I'm gonna get the skid steer and then get ready. Here's a uh, 12 inch. We have a three quarter or 12 inch to do. Not ready to do till next fall, but uh, we're just picking away at it. This here is a crate of 14 inch. <clears throat> These are, we take the eight foot logs and we'll cut 16 inches. And then what's left at the tail end sometimes is 16, and sometimes it's a couple of 12s or 14 in a 16. So that's how we end up with those. And this here crate 
this here crate is for the campfire. This is the stuff that we split off, the low grade wood. The uglies, as some people call them. And the next bin is for the trash, bark, and the really rotten stuff. It's not worth anything. That goes right up next to the splitter. After that is the, the hardwood ends, the little short pieces. The customers that buy these are mostly tiny homes. Tiny homes. Or the uh, the tabletop fireplaces that people have in their backyards. And last but not least, this crate is 18 inch, and sometimes the hardwood of the last couple of pieces off log will be 218s, or sometimes we'll make it to 312s. Or sometimes we'll just do 216s and we'll have an end. A lot depends on the size. People use this big wood for boiler wood. We don't sell a lot of it. We don't have many customers for boiler wood. So if we can get nice big rounds, then that's... And these two are for 16 inch. Muddy. Well, it poured rain last night, so that's why. There's some more of that order for the very small 12 inch pieces. It's three cord total. And I'm working on, we got one and a half there. So that other one will be, make it one and three quarters of three. So. Tim's getting dressed. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I don't have my hearing aids and I can't hear uh, you. Oh, that's the problem. My Those... hearing's in a little box, see? Don't ever lose that box, that's very important. It's been lost a couple of times. <laughs> oh, not good. All right, it's a beautiful day. It's nice and cool. Sun's out, make some firewood. I just gotta fill up and then I'll be ready to roll. I can't roll till you roll. My good paintbrush. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. If you wanted me to hear what you're saying, I'm sure you'll let me know. True. See my nice belt? Is it though? What's that? It's stitching. With staples? Wire? No, it's wire. Oh my wire gosh. Wire stitching. Where did you get it? It's your dad's old belt. <laughs> and he probably wore it for 30 years or more. Or longer, yeah. Well, he, what, he was forestry for 40 years. Yeah, so. probably the one and only belt he ever had. You it just works. Can't, you just can't gain any weight, apparently, because no. that's a good thing. Have you ever known me to gain weight? Uh, sometimes I worry. Don't think that about it too hard. <laughs> <laughs> you can't gain weight if you're always moving and eating and moving. You can. You just got to eat more. <laughs> eat more? Yeah. That's empty. Our little toolbox. Everything you might need and more. Uh, 
Alrighty, where are we gonna set up? Yeah. Two people, one splitter, and one chainsaw. <laughs> and one broken thumb. One broken thumb. Uh, one broken saw. One broken saw. Because I had to buy another saw. And the, by the way, this is a splitter injury. <laughs> it's not anything else. You split the bone, didn't you? A spiral fracture? A spiral fracture. But I was splitting a piece of wood and it shot out and struck me in the thumb. Yes. So our pile goes to there. So we have to October 31st. That's not much. That's not much. We can do that. We did all that. We can do this. <laughs> Well, that low pile, there's one, two, almost three cords to here. So there's gonna be Probably one, two, seven or eight three. Or... Yeah, but seven or so, yeah. So minus rain days, that gives us two weeks to finish. No problem. So, who splits in the rain? Well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna rain today later on, so we better get going. Yeah. It's wood like this that slows it all down. Oh, Small yeah. stuff like that. Well, I don't even split it if it's that size. Yeah. Slows you down. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be nice if it was all like this. Yeah. You just split it in four and be done. But even this one has a has a, a branch in it. Oh yeah. There's stuff like this. Yeah, crotchety old stuff. Big old like. And then there's perfectly good ones like that. So it's a mixture. So we better get going All right. before, before the rain comes. Time to get to work. Yep.
Why are there wasps? Ugh. The what? The wasps. They fly like right into your face. Now I'm finished working. <laughs> no. Finished till after lunch. Thirsty? Uh, half a tank, maybe? Not bad, really. Lunchtime. 